Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to implement live search in React.js. This search will filter records as we type in search field. This is very easy, beginner friendly, step by step guide. It's flexible and can be adjusted to filter more than one type of items. As you can see, I am able to search by name, by job and by phone. Okay, let's do it. I am using Git for Windows. I used npm create wheat at latest command to create react.js app. You'll have to answer few questions and app will be installed. Then go inside the directory like this is the directory where app is installed and use command npm i to install the dependencies. Then open this folder in code editor. This is the output right now. First name, last name, role and phone. We will need some data to display. So I have db.js file in data folder. In this file, I am exporting a const named employees. It's an object containing elements and elements have key value pairs. We have ID, first name, last name, job title, one. This is random dummy data. We have got a lot of records. Okay, so let's display this data. Import employees from data db.js. And then this is the table employees.length. No records found. And this whole table will go inside here. So this is our check. And this TR will be repeated. We are mapping employees here. TR will have unique key. And then from this record, we will receive this data. First name, last name, job title, and phone. And this is the result. Data is being displayed. So this is working. Now we have to implement search functionality. Let's use an input field here. This is our input field and it will have a value that will come from state. And this is a function that will handle on change event. When we will type in this field, this function will be triggered. So let's import use state hook, define state, search, set search. This value for this input is coming from this state. And then we need to define this function. Handle search change will receive an event. And from the event, we will get the value, changed value that will be stored in this search. This state is monitoring the text that is being typed inside input. So this function is monitoring input value change and updating the state with the changed value. Now we have the search field. We have to link it with the records. Let's create a function that will filter records based on our search. This is our function, filtered records. So filter employees, then convert search to lowercase to make the search case insensitive. Check if search term is empty. If so, return all records. When the search term is empty, the filter function will include all records because the condition to include each record is always true. Otherwise, check if any field contains the search term. If yes, return that record. So when a search term will be entered, only the records that match the search term in any of the specified fields will be displayed. Here we are looking in first name, last name, job, title, and phone. All of these. Now this is the logic that will be inserted before mapping. So we get this and use here instead of employees. So here we have search field. And if I search this thing, it is filtering. Let's see this one.
Yes, it is working. K E Y developer. It is searching here. Senior. And if it's empty, all records are being displayed. So this is how we can implement live search in React.js. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.